name is Zaylin, and I'm very sad that our school got flooded. My name is Rabbi Avramel Akinov. I'm the executive director of Mazel Day School. My name is Aliza Leia, and I'm in second grade. Hi, my name is Irina Sasinovich, and I'm one of the parents at Mazel Day School. My name is Ella, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Rabbi Naftali Rottenberg. I teach over here at Mazel Day School. Hey, my name is Mara Moshki, and this is Mara Don. We're both co-teachers in kindergarten at Mazel Day School. My name is Mara, and I'm in fourth grade. I'm Alyssa. I'm in second grade. Hi, my name is Zoni, and I'm in first grade, and my school is Mazel Day School. Hi, I'm Alfie, and I go to Mazel Day School. Um, I've been in Mazel Day School since I was four years old, and ever since then I've loved the school. For us, Mazel was um, an absolutely unique experience. Most of our families are coming from Russian-speaking um, homes, and themselves, the parents themselves, very often did not have any Jewish education at all, and for them to choose to enroll their children in a Jewish day school is really a very um, inspiring and unique decision. My daughter was the first student in the school, so this school to me is like my second home, really. I love my whole day school. I really like my whole day school. I like how the teachers teach the lessons. I like Mazel Day School because it is a very good school and, and the teachers are very nice. That everyone's nice to each other and that the teachers are friendly. Teachers know their, their uh, students almost like their own children. They know what's going on at home, uh, what are they sad about, uh, what makes them happy. Um, and the attention children receive and the care and the kindness is uh, amazing. It gives the opportunity for each kid to succeed. It's a small school. We, we get to focus on all the kids individually um, and the kids get to learn better that way and th they succeed much better that way. We have very good classes like uh, science, Russian, math, Hebrew. I love math, Hebrew, English. My best class is art and music. Good homework. And the children, you know, in our school look forward to coming every single day, a very warm environment, a very strong, tight knit community between the parents, the teachers, and the children. We're from Mazel Day School. We're from Mazel Day School. A happy, happy day school. Happy, happy day school. The care, the warmth, the kindness that surrounds children in the school is um, very, very unique. What makes this school special is, uh, I would say, you know, values. The kids are taught not only Jewish studies and math and geographics, which is all very important for us, but what's taught here is kids' values. It's an inclusive, and in a private Jewish school market, this is something that you can hardly ever find. In this school, they don't ask you what kind of Judaism do you practice. Uh, if you're Jewish, you're welcome. And uh, this teaches kids something completely unbelievable, that if, uh, the love and the care for all the Jewish people, no matter where you're coming from, no matter what language you speak, no matter what you do at home or how you dress or how you look. From the first day, Tuesday morning, when we showed up, I saw the watermarks were about six feet high. And the water at that point, I believe, was about three, three and a half feet. Uh, myself and others right away went in to see what we can salvage, walk around through the water and see what we can take out. And we realized that the damage was just enormous. We ran, we called friends, we got a generator, we got four pumps. People from the community came, a lot of the school's parents came and we were just doing the best we can. Within 10-15 minutes I had, we, there was 20-30 and the numbers just kept on climbing of how many community members and parents and even kids from the school came out to help. And ever since then, the outpour of support and, and people coming and volunteering in any way that they can to help has been tremendous. Some of the students to come out there and help out and try to save their school, the pride that they have in their school, was very, very nice to see. Unfortunately, not, not much could have been saved. And uh, we're still, I think, uh, not realizing how bad the damage was. When Sandy came, our Two elementary school floors were completely flooded, submerged under six feet of water. Everything that was made out of paper is gone. 
the school was a really good school and we had like some of our most biggest memories there and now like they're all ruined. It's very hard for us when the whole hurricane happened. It destroyed our classroom and all the beautiful things that were on our wall. All the books, all our stuff, out the window. We were crying as we were throwing out books and supplies and study materials, computers, um, folders, uh, children's drawings, children's photographs, everything that makes the school a home for their children. All our stuff is gone. All the books got destroyed. I feel sad because the books got ruined. We had in the shul downstairs a library. Um, that mostly we, most of the books were ruined. We already had to bury 115 garbage bags of Jewish books, prayer books. We had a Talmud, a Babylonian Talmud, that was printed in the 1800s in Lithuania that was big and heavy, so it was always on the bottom shelf, and they unfortunately also got ruined. It was just a historic, uh, you know, an antique Talmud. You know, when paper gets wet for a few hours, disintegrates, so all of our office files, our, all of our classroom books, textbooks, um, most of our games, classroom materials were ruined. Um, all of our wooden, beautiful classroom furniture, um, most of which cannot be used any longer and had to be thrown out. And every inch and every square of our classrooms was really built by community members, by parents, personally contributing um, games, personally, you know, installing new flooring, personally helping, you know, do electrical work. Everything about our school was done by the community, for the community. Um, and now, with just, you know, one rush of water, is, is gone. The beautiful school that was just rebuilt last summer was efforts of the community, parents, and everyone around, and in two days it was gone. This used to be our reception area. We had a wonderful, lovely secretary that would greet us. Um, this is our rabbi's office. So this was my office. She's mm -hmm. no longer here. This is where I met with children, teachers, parents. Um, this was our beautiful hallway. We had bulletin boards, children's hooks, um, artwork hung on the wall. The way that we're coming right now is to the kindergarten and first grade classrooms. This was a first grade room. It's now holding a few of the uh, items that we managed to, um, that were not ruined in the floodwaters. This was a kindergarten classroom. All this renovation was done just last, uh, the previous summer, before this one. It was brand new flooring, brand new um, sheetrock walls, brand, everything was brand new, beautiful classrooms is now completely, completely destroyed. So now walking down the hallway, this was our IT room. We have laptops here, all of our uh, computer hard drives back up, which is also completely flooded. You can see here the water line. This space right here, we had our preschool and entire elementary school library, thousands of books, which was completely, um, the waterline went almost straight to the top of the bookshelf, which we were not able to use to save any of those books. This is our second grade classroom. So ordinarily the teacher, the black whiteboard would be right here. All the children's desks were here. We had a beautiful carpet, reading area, math, games, manipulatives. It's really a top of the line, beautiful classroom. Just now a complete mess and had to be completely gutted. The initial reaction when we saw the water was, where the safer terrorists, how are they doing? I practically had to swim through the water to, to, to get to it. Um, I was able to open the safe. It was a little bit difficult because even the, the dial of the safe was in the water. Um, and we had six Taurus in there. I right away felt the Torah cover was wet. I felt under it and I saw that everything was wet. I came out, I took one at a time, passed it out to my father and another community member came in, I passed it out to him and they were bringing it upstairs while I was going back and forth through the water to, to get them all out. I miss mostly the titles and my supplies. I know we did lose a lot in the school, 
I know, but things like the desks and the chairs and the games, hopefully we're going to get back. Hopefully we're going to get those back. But things like our friends, like Rachel said, you're right, that's important to have. That's very important to be thankful for. We, you know, we were just told one of the kids said, you know, there's no color. And we're grateful to be in, in, a, in a place now where we could teach the children, but, you know, to have a child say to you there's no color, that, you know, that they miss that atmosphere is... It's hard to hear as a teacher. I'm really happy that we have a new place, but our room is pretty small, and I'm really happy that I still have all our friends and we have a new and we have a new kid. We had like a normal room size, and this time in second grade, tiny room. I can't say it's tiny, but it's a little bigger than tiny. I would be happy if we were back in our old class. Basically, we're reaching out to everyone right now to, to help us, because this is a product like no other. I mean, we as parents, the teachers, the kids believe in it. My son, he was so devastated about destruction of the school. We actually had our basement flooded, my parents, my sister. Nothing hurt him more than a school. He sat down and he wrote a song. He was crying for three days. It's just show you how much kids love the school. If I earn more money, I have almost a hundred dollars. When I get almost a hundred dollars, I'm gonna give all my hundred dollars to Mazo. Please support our school. Please help us give us money to rebuild the school. Please help us. We really like Mazo Day School. Please support our school so we could be happy again. Please go to donatemazo.com and. Um, help us rebuild the home for our children again. Thank you. This is a time for our students to see that not only, you know, is chesed about giving to others, but others also care about them as well. And this is really a lifelong lesson that our children will never forget. There's so many ways that you can help, and together we will rebuild our school, and it will be even greater and bigger than it was before. Our dream is really to, to see the school rebuilt, to have the, the vibrant classrooms again, to have those kid, the kids with smiles, so excited to come into that, to that atmosphere and to, to give them, I guess, that hope back because it wasn't just the school, but their homes. So, you know, it's really, it's, it's hard to see them like this. I wish that our building, that our Mazel Day School building would be fixed as fast as anyone could do it. I hope it's gonna be back in a, in a very soon. I hope that like in like the future that the school will be even better than it was before and everything will like get better step by step. We do believe that we can rebuild and with help of others we'll, we'll make it happen again. Because schools like that has to live and grow. If you want to learn more about our school, you can visit our website at muzzledayschool.com. We also have a registry on Amazon where you can find some gifts that you can uh, purchase for our classrooms. And any way that you can help, that you can contribute, um, reach out to us, send us an email, and again, visit www.donatemazel.com.